Hey guys, Tanya and David with Outside by Side. Today we want to show you an amazing product. Active Controls reached out to us to do a review on their product, which is Active Start. And Active Start is an advanced intelligent soft starter that has multiple uses. We're excited to show you this product because we absolutely love it. It is a game changer. Uh, David's gonna give you the- The rundown on the nitty gritty. <laughs> yes, stay tuned. <laughs> So we want to tell you a little bit about Active Controls. Active Controls is an innovative customs control company based out of Florida. So their products are made in the USA and their goal is to help their clients achieve the most efficient and easy way to access power in ways they could not do it before. So the Active Start is really cool because it's got multiple products all tied up in one. A lot of you are familiar with the Soft Start that you can hardwire into your air conditioner, either at your house or up on your roof of your RV. Well, this one actually does the same thing. Uh, its main purpose is to reduce the startup draw when you turn on your air conditioner, which is really a game changer if you are plugged into a smaller generator or you're at a house that only has 20 amp circuit and you want to boondock and run your air conditioner at night. So what it does is it, it helps with that initial kick to get your compressor running. But it also has several other uses that I wanted to talk to you about. The main thing is, is that you don't have to get up on your roof and open up your air conditioner and, and hardwire in a unit. You can actually use this product right here to where you can just plug it in direct. The one that's up on your roof only works for your air conditioner. This actually helps with your power consumption for your whole trailer. So some of the other uses are, it shows the power status of the generator or the pedestal at the campsite to make sure that you have clean power, that you don't have a hot neutral reverse or a hot ground reverse. So it has status lights. Another cool feature of the product is the Active Start app for your phone, which enables you to monitor live the power consumption of your trailer. It's really cool because you can see the amps, the volts, the watts, the frequency. You can monitor how much power you're using in a certain amount of time and we'll show you that as well. Another thing is that if you have the standard surge guard or surge protector that protects your trailer from power surges that could ruin your electrical, well, this thing also has surge protection for your trailer. So that's another great feature. The other thing that it helps with is if you have a small generator, the smaller generators, like the 2000 watt generators, have a really hard time starting these air conditioners. We have a 13,000 BTU air conditioner. It runs fine on our generator, but some of y'all have the 15,000 BTUs. So that, that really does help as well. We're gonna get the actual unit, which is the 30 amp active start soft starter. You're gonna get a 30 amp to 20 amp adapter. And then you're also gonna get the ground neutral bonding plug. So you get three products as a bundle. So here we are at the typical RV electrical pedestal. You have 50 amp, you have 30 amp, and you have 20 amp. One of the uh, uses for this product is that, you know, it, it protects your RV from unknown electrical power issues. That could be some wiring faults or some breaker problems. So we're gonna plug into our our 30 amp plug here, our receptacle, uh, breaker's off. And now we're gonna turn the breaker on. So when you have a green light, it means that your power's on and the wiring is correct. If you were to have any of these other scenarios like a green light and a red light, it would be a hot neutral reverse. And if you had a, a, a red light only, it would be a hot ground reverse. So. These two situations right here, you would not want to plug your camper in and turn it on because that could lead to problems uh, with your electrical. 
that. Also, they do provide a metal ring right here because these things are very valuable and people do like to steal them. So you can uh, lock this up to the pedestal with a cable. The use for this is if you were at a campsite that did not have 30 or 50, you could use this adapter right here to plug into the 20 amp. And uh, plug the unit into there. And of course, same thing when you turn on the 20, uh, you're gonna see that you have a green status light. So that means that this receptacle is fine. If you were at home, and you wanted to plug your camper in in the driveway or at your friend's house, you would also be able to use this right here if a 30 amp plug was not available. This is the current generator we're using. It's a Win 4000 watt. It runs on gasoline and propane. We bought this generator so that we could run our air conditioner in our RV. It works great, we love it. One of the things that I've noticed with this generator is that it has eco mode. And when you run eco mode, this little switch right here, it's supposed to idle the generator down when you don't have a load. The problem with this generator, when we put it in eco mode, when we're running our air conditioner, when our air conditioner kicks on, it surges the generator up real high and it uses a lot more power and then it kind of equals out over time. With this active start, we're able to run our air conditioner with our eco mode switch on which really does help save gas. It also makes it a lot quieter in certain camping situations to where you have neighbors or if you're trying to run it in the back of your truck. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with y'all. So our generator, it has a 30 amp plug, which is awesome. It also has a double 20 amp receptacle as well. Another great thing about this unit is if you were to have a smaller generator, like a 2000 watt or less, you would be able to use your 20 to 30 adapter and run a smaller window unit and it will run your air conditioner, which most of the smaller generators do not run larger air conditioners. So that would be another, that's probably the main reason why you would want this. But anyway, I'll show you how we're gonna use this today. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in our active start into the 30 amp. We're gonna go ahead and uh, start the generator. We'll put it on choke. If you notice, we have a red and a green light, which means the red and green is an error, which is a hot neutral reverse. These generators have an open ground. By the way, I'm not an electrician. I'm just letting you know what I know. But I do know that if you take this bonding plug and you plug it in here, now the red light goes away and you no longer have that error. So this is really cool. So there we go. So now we're gonna turn the generator on. We're gonna plug this, our trailer, 30 amp into the active start and we'll start the generator back up. So here's our generator running. If I put it into eco mode, You'll hear the generator idle down. So now our camper is running on our generator. So now the air conditioner is on and uh, we're in eco mode and you can see there was hardly any change at all. So now we're gonna demonstrate running our air conditioner without the active start in eco mode to see if you can see the difference. So we're gonna unplug it, unplug it. Plug it back in. So now we're plugged in direct and let's start it back up. As you can see, we're still in eco mode just to show you the difference. That's not eco mode and that's eco mode. There are some other things running in our trailer right now, but the air conditioner is off. We do have a few things plugged in right now. We have our refrigerator is on and uh, we have some lights on, but the air conditioner is off. So now Tony is going to turn the air conditioner on, and we're going to see the difference without the active start in eco mode. So 
So you can see the difference in having the active start plugged in and the active start not plugged in in eco mode. We just wanted to show you the difference. We're going to launch the active start app. And the first thing you want to do is connect it, which it's connected. And now when we go back, this is what I really think is the, the biggest benefit of having this device. This app right here, it shows your current amps, your current voltage, your current frequency, which is a perfect 60 hertz. Uh, this is our current watt usage. This right here, if you're at a campsite where they charge you by the kilowatt, it will actually keep track of your kilowatts of your usage, kind of like your meter does at home. So that's also a nice thing to have. It also shows the current temperature of the device, which is outside. It's not the outside temperature, it's the temperature of the device itself. So you can monitor the heat of the electric plug and the uh, device itself. If you go into your settings, right here you can reset your energy back to zero. Your surge protection is okay, meaning that the surge has not ever tripped or gone off. And then on your power, you have different options that you can pick from. So if you have a small inverter generator, you can use that, or a small generator, or a medium 3000 watt uh, generator, or a 4500 watt generator. And right now we're currently have it on the pedestal, so we've chosen that. And so now let's go back to our main screen and let's see what happens uh, when we turn on the air conditioner. So now we have the air conditioner running. You can see we're pulling 13 amps. And uh, here's our watts, uh, which if you're using a small generator, uh, it's very useful to know how many watts you're pulling. Uh, now we're gonna turn on the uh, microwave and see what happens. So as you can see, now we're pulling 24 amps. Remember, we're on a 30 amp breaker. Uh, on our pedestal and a 30 amp plug and here's our current watts so you know all this is live all of this information is very useful to educate you on how your RV works now we're gonna go turn on the electric water heater Twenty-nine forty-three. now the microwave just kicked off uh, so now the power has dropped back down to 1640. Now we're going to turn on this small heater. Uh, these small space heaters can pull up to 1500 watts. So there's quite a bit of current draw there. Uh, so you can see we're currently pulling 20 amps, 2406 on the watts. And now let's turn that microwave back on and see what happens. Okay, so we're currently pulling 34 amps on a 30 amp breaker. So uh, uh, no issues, the breaker hasn't tripped yet, uh, but I can promise you the temperature is probably gonna start to rise here really quickly uh, because of the amount of current that we're drawing. So now we're gonna go ahead and turn the air conditioner off and let's keep an eye on our, uh, our amps and our watts. Drop from 42 to 36, 29, mm -hmm. 3,000. And then we're going to turn our microwave off. Down to 18, 17.55. And now let's turn this little heater off down here. Ooh, that went from 18 to 367. Right. So I think this is one of the best benefits of having this, uh, active start is just the information the live information you get on your uh, electrical status uh, because it really e educates you on what you can run and what you can't run especially if you're on a generator uh, a smaller generator 
So we really enjoyed showing you the Active Start. If you want to purchase this product, check out the website in our description below. As you can see, this device can really help you out if you're using a small generator for your travel trailer and you're trying to run an air conditioner. And if you have a generator like ours uh, that's a little bit larger and you're trying to run your air conditioner in eco mode, you can also see the benefits of this. It also acts as a surge protector. It also acts as a power analyzer uh, to analyze the power to make sure that uh, the voltage is correct before you hook it up. And the app. I think the app is the it's best amazing. part. The yeah. best part about the whole deal. Being able to see how much each device pulls. And uh, you can really educate yourself on what you can and can't turn on. The app is, is really, to me, the, the best thing about the whole product. Especially having it in real time, too. Right. We appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like our videos. Subscribe and share with anyone who's trying to run an air conditioner in their RV on a little generator. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.